So today we're going to be going over how much money you can make smelting rune ore at the blast furnace for one hour and while trying to be moder moderately entertaining. First off, you're going to need 85 smithing and you have to go do some quests, but you know if you're looking up how to smelt rune ore at the blast furnace, you probably can get here. You're going to want a coal bag. And this is how I set my inventory. Well, let's first go over the gear. I just have full graceful on with ice gloves. You're going to need ice gloves. And then the way I have my bank set up is so that I can withdraw the rune and coal ore. And then I can withdraw a stamina potion. And then I have it set to drink so I can withdraw it, drink, and then click on, you know, whatever I need to get. Uh, whenever you click on the coal, it will automatically fill into your coal bag. All right, so you're going to have to have 108 coal to make a full inventory or 27 rune bars. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to get a stamina potion out, drink that, and then we're going to fill our coal bag up and take some coal out. Go over to the conveyor belt, empty your coal bag, dump the other bit in, go back to the bank. Another full inventory and coal bag, drop that in. All right, so now on our third trip, we are going to get a inventory of rune and we're gonna fill our coal bag up with coal. And that is gonna give us 27 rune bars and then we have 27 coal left over. So that means on the second time, we can fill our coal bag and our inventory up one time. And then the second time, we will be able to get rune and coal and get 27 rune bars. And then you'll start back and do the original one. And now we'll start back and do coal, coal. Oh, put my, put my coal back up. And then we start back again and do a full inventory of coal. But after a while, it gets really easy. I know that was a lot, but after a while, it does get pretty easy. You'll start remembering the pattern. I'll put it up on screen, or if I haven't put it up on screen yet, it's probably been up on screen for a really long time. Um, and that's basically just what you do. I do have to admit though that this is way different than doing gold ore. I feel like gold ore was kind of difficult, but now it is not. I do not feel that way at all. Gold ore is not difficult in the slightest. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to empty the sack. I gotta remember. Is it already empty? Okay. Well, I keep. I either keep not emptying it, or <laughs> I either keep not emptying it or emptying it. And there we go, we have 86 smithing. Alright, this actually isn't that bad once you get the hang of it. At least you don't have to swap gloves, I guess. <laughs> and sometimes you end up with 180 coal or whatever I had. And then, you know, it just kind of works out. You don't always have to do it exactly how Wiki tells you or how I went over it. You can kind of just go at your own flow. Like, I have 108 right now. I'm about to put 54 in. But that's okay, because we can just put some rune in there, and it'll turn it into some bars. And with one minute left to go, we are basically out of materials. And we have 27 seconds left to go. I have ran out of materials, but we have gained 105,000 XP in this hour of making rune bars. All right, so we have smithed 2,183 rune bars. In total, we have gained 106,000 smithing XP, and we have made a profit of 1.17 mil GP in the one hour of making rune bars. This truly is the best money maker for smithing, and if you have your Kingdom of Miscellanea going, you can make them even cheaper by getting the coal from there. I almost forgot about taxes. Uncle Sam's got to get his money uh, wherever you live. Anyway, so the actual total profit with the GE tax is going to be 902k GP. My name is Pro. Hope you enjoyed and peace.